Hey there, this is K4A, Knowledge for All Educational Videos channel. We are continuing with learning Scratch, making Scratch blocks, explaining them, making Scratch tutorials. And in this video today, we are going to try to learn how and when to use Scratch block, which is named Reset Timer. Okay, let's go to Scratch to see that in action. In last few videos, we have learned about timer, how to show it on screen, to use it, how to make some action depending on if the timer is greater than some value and so on. In this video we are going to learn how to reset the timer. Okay, uh, first of all I have explained it earlier but let's do it again. If we stop the game and I don't know why this isn't showing some other kind of feedback but anyway if I start the game again with the green flag timer will go from zero again so stop start or just start again it will reset to zero so that's the one way to reset timer by clicking on this green flag go to uh, reset the timer and at the same time reset the game start the game again but that's not very smart in terms of I don't want to restart my game every time just to restart reset my timer that doesn't make much sense it, in terms of maybe sometimes I will need to reset my timer but not restart my game so in that case I uh, let me I'll just pick one of those buttons button level yeah okay it doesn't matter I will I will click on one of those button button level two or yeah button level two is maybe simple because it doesn't have too much code <clears throat> okay button level two let's show it because it was hidden and oops and detach this switch backdrop we don't need that anymore and instead click and drag this reset timer to see what will happen now so when I click on this console button it should reset timer to zero and it works simple as that so again very very simple and easy to use and easy to understand uh, again these kind of uh, um, this timer it's built-in variable it's made pre-made made for you by scratch programmers because most of the game needs some kind of timer for for them to to work they need some kind of uh, value to hold on uh, to represent time in their game sometimes sometimes it's just simple general time like you have played the game like one minute five minutes and so on sometimes you will use it to connect some kind of action to it like on every 50 seconds spawn some kind of uh, zombie or enemy or something like that or if you survive for five minutes you have accomplished and reached level two and so on and the uh, reset timer was also made just because and this one block also uh, sorry events block when timer goes greater than they are also pre-made uh, just because you will need them a lot when you work with time with timer and uh, those were made just so you can work is more uh, faster and more easy with uh, this block in scratch uh, but for example to rem uh, to try to uh, find out some other usage for this uh, reset timer I don't know maybe for example if, if we had some kind of uh, um, racing game or something like that so for example if you you had cars racing and if they uh, go over the starting uh, go over some checkpoint that, that resets time so for example you have to go from one point to another in five minutes and if you don't game is over and if you do your time resets and you go you go to the next checkpoint and so on so you can use it in different ways but mostly it's uh, 
it's used just for simple resetting the game when you start the game and so on or something like that. I don't I want I probably won't use it very lot in my games, but we have to learn it because we are trying to learn all the scratch blocks here. Okay, that's it for this lesson. Again, one of uh, the shorter, shortest lessons for a change. Let's have some short lessons for a change. And uh, that's it for this video. I hope I will see you in uh, next videos. Until then, uh, don't stop learning, don't stop sharing your knowledge and everything with others. And I hope I will see you in next videos. Bye for now.